What's the craziest reason you ghosted a girl for? She slept with my brother. <laughs> she was my fiance. Found she was sleeping with my brother. That's beyond mine. I had to. Like, there was no other choice. Can I you say him and her. Can, can you beat that? Her. Can you beat that? Wait a minute. <laughs> He's asking, can you beat that? Why would you even want to beat it? Guys, these women are out here doing dirt. They're not sugar and spice and everything nice. See, a lot of guys think that they're angels just because I pay bills. I take her on trips. I buy her clothes and shoes and purses and heels. She would never cheat on me. She, her eyes would never wander for another guy. You'd be amazed what goes on behind closed doors. That was your fiance? Yeah, that was my fiance. I, mean, I feel for you, but I don't feel for you at the same time. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Cause... I was engaged to her for like three years. I found out after uh, that she was sleeping with my brother for like two years. Blood brother, oh. everything. Like, that's crazy as fuck. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. So far. Ladies, this is going to be you. If you don't settle down and if you don't get with that guy who cares about you, who you probably got in a friend zone, you're going to be getting STDs, STIs, having a bottle of wine, thinking it's all cool, living a strong, independent life. That, that's This is never going to be it. Never. Drinking a bottle. That's not life for any woman, for anybody. How much do you think a man should spend on a first date? Thousand dollars. What? <laughs> I don't know. Why should a man spend a thousand dollars on you? <laughs> because I'm mean, cute. That's it? Just because you're cute? Yeah, sure. Is it all about the money for you? It's not all about the money, but I know I deserve this, so... Okay. See, a lot of these women think that they just deserve. Because they put on a little outfit. Because they throw some makeup. They think, okay, I deserve this. I... Man, these women are entitled. Guys, know your worth. Don't just be breaking bread on women. A thousand dollars? What do they do to deserve that? Are y'all talking to anybody else? No. No. May we test the theory? Sure. Sure. Y'all two swap phones. Who is Pat? Pat is a U.S. soldier in located in um. Oh gosh, my brain cannot think of it. You know why her brain cannot think of it? Because she's lying. Pat is most likely a dude next door, down the street at her job or work husband. Shout out to all my veterans in the military. Guys, and she's a basic woman. He probably think he's securing his relationship or marriage, man. Right now, uh, Ukraine. Okay, okay. He's stationed in Ukraine. Do y'all talk? Sometimes. Like, uh, relationship-wise? No. Can we see? Yeah, let him hold the phone. Well, I can let him see. <laughs> Cute stuff. This was today. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Not somebody that I want to be with. Can we see? No. We can't go through the truck. Huh? Can't go through the truck. No. Look at his face. You know why they can't go through that chat? Because that's the dude. That's clapping her cheeks. He's smashing. That's what she really desires. Listen, a woman's phone is a gateway to cheating. I'm not saying you be insecure. Go check your girlfriend or wife's phone. Or something. Let me see what you're doing. But I'm telling you right now, there's a good chance that you're going to find something. Now, she's probably not hooking up with the guys, but she's probably in the process. A lot of women, they like to build a connection before they like, get sexual or physical with a guy. I feel bad for this guy, but he needs to let it go. These phone swap interviews should let you know that these women cannot be trusted. Say you feel suffocated with his love. Yeah, he, he's just... He wants too much touching, too much sex. It's so overwhelming, and it makes me not... Like, the more he pressures me to want to be intimate or all that, the more it makes me not want to do that. So it puts me in a situation where it's like I feel like I have to make excuses. Mm -hmm. I have to... Let me tell you something, guys. If you are with a woman in relationship, dating, marriage, and you have to pressure her for sex and it seems like, hey, come on, honey, come on, let's do it, let's do it. She is not the one for you. She doesn't really desire you like that. She's just tolerating you. 
You're there to pay bills. You're just a placeholder. And the guy that she really wants, listen, she's going to be wet for that guy all the time. She's always going to desire and want him. Trust me. To come up with reasons to not do things with him. Like, it was one specific time where he went all out. Like, I was at work and he went all out, got a hotel room, made it nice. Wow. Because you know, <laughs> he just wanted to do that for me. Right. But that specific night, it just wasn't my night. I wasn't in the mood. I'm a real moody person sometimes, especially when I get off of work. And basically, you know, he surprised me, brought me to the room, opened the door, and I see everything. And, you know... Most women would be like, oh, babe, you know, thank you. And I appreciate this. But my feelings was. She does not desire him. He needs to leave. I'm 30 years old and I have never had a boyfriend. And someone commented on one of my videos recently and said, do you ever get nervous of the possibility of thinking that like you may never actually find somebody? And my answer to that. How are you 30 years old and never had a boyfriend? You know what's happening? Let's translate this. I'm 30 years old, and all of my 20s, I've been shooting for the top 10% guy. But those guys don't want to commit to me. They don't want to be in a relationship with me. So uh, I'm not going to settle. She's, but, but she's been hooking up with guys, believe me. This is why so many women are single, because due to hypergamy, they think that they deserve a certain type of guy. So they're single basically their entire adult life and have a lot of situationships. Instead of getting with that guy that's in the friend zone, a guy that's actually on their level question is kind of yes and also kind of no growing up i've always been a late bloomer so i'm not really surprised that i'm in the situation that i'm in and i know that if i really wanted a boyfriend and i wanted to settle down i could find somebody i mean i met this See? guy in the Heard wild it. recently if she really wanted to settle down she really could but she doesn't want to settle until she's about 40 years old. You want them to be of a certain height. You have your race preference. You need a certain amount of income to live. They have to be a certain amount of attractiveness. They have to have the right personality. And really all they give a f about, what do you look like and how are you going to make my life easier? So at the end of the day, if women really only have two things to check off and men have like 30, they have to meet more requirements. So they have to do more work. Therefore, they have they're to more change valuable. more. Exactly. They have to do more just to catch your eye. So they are more the prize than the woman ever will be because the woman has to do less to even grab their attention in the first due to the fact that men make my ass itch i have decided that what? i am single so does she have an std or sti if men make her butt itch i'm confused <laughs> celibate and no longer willing to date anyone however if you insist on taking me on a date there will be a 500 dollars fee Notice how she says, I'm single and I'm celibate. Anytime a woman says she's celibate, I'm telling you right now, what it means is translation. I've been getting smashed by different dudes. I've been hooking up with different guys, but I haven't been able to get anything from it financially. No meaningful relationship. So now I'm celibate now. And whoever guy that I meet, y'all got to work hard for it. But these other guys in the past got it for free or next to nothing. That $500 fee can be paid through Zelle, Cash App, or Apple Pay. A five hundred dollar fee. First, they did Cheesecake Factory. Now, that five hundred dollar fee can be paid through Zelle, Cash App, or Apple Pay. I'll send you my phone number, and you can send the motherfucking buttons. Then we the can audacity. discuss an arrangement. However, if you decide that you're gonna text me or call me before you send the motherfucking buttons, you will be blocked. Yeah, that's how we gonna do that. The audacity. And it's only a certain demographic of women, if you haven't noticed, it's just doing all this. The groom played a video of his wife cheating on him with her pregnant sister's husband in front of everybody. 